Far to the northwest of Scotland lies an isle built on fantasies. Dream landscapes spawn into historic backdrops as ruined castles hide stories of long-lost kingdoms. Waters crash into black cliffs as old volcanic cones thrust towards the sky, frozen in time. This place was a dream as an adventure photographer, with epic hikes through dramatic landscapes. It was one of those places where you can lose time and forget about the world. I only filmed one day of my adventures here, and here's how it went. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Isle of Sky. Isle of Skye is up on the northwest part of Scotland here, and it's this big island, and it has all these beautiful peninsulas and fjords, and it's known for its natural beauty up in the highlands of Scotland up here. And yesterday I was doing a bit of a photo shoot, I was doing a wedding shoot, so I drove around a little bit of Isle of Skye yesterday with my clients and we got some amazing photos and today I have a free day so I'm in the little town of Portree and this is the main town of Skye here and it's only about 2,100 people in population and it's this really cute little fishing village. You have this harbor out here with all these fishing boats leading out into some of the fjords here that'll take you out to the ocean and you just have these amazing dramatic cliffs all over here. And I'm right down here amongst these really colorful row homes that are right along the fishing harbor. And the town is built on all these cliffs here so you can just kind of wander around these cute winding stone alley streets. And from up on those other cliffs over there, you get this beautiful view looking over the harbor on this little colorful row of homes here. So anyways, I have no idea what the weather is going to do today. On the northern part of the island here, there's some really cool natural beauty to see. Some really cool hikes and some cool like rock formations and some dramatic cliffs. So I'm hoping to get out there. The problem is I don't have a car. There's not really good buses. I could try hitchhiking, which I might try, but then if the other thing is the weather is like very inclement here, so it can be nice and sunny one second and then it can just start pouring rain. So. I might see if there's a car rental place in town here and then I can have like the freedom to explore the north of the island here. But yeah, so very excited to show you guys this place. It's just so beautiful and it's so calm and peaceful. I like love this village. I wish I could stay here for a week, but I only have one more day. And so yeah, let's see if we can explore the isle here. I've just come up the hill from the colorful row homes up here and I wanted to take you to this little parking lot and again you're up on these cliffs and you're looking right down on the little peninsula with the colorful row homes and just has a really pretty view. You're looking out over the harbor, you can see some of the fishing boats and you can see some of the misty mountains way off in the distance. So beautiful place to see the row homes of Portree. Beautiful views from up on this cliff. I even flew up the drone. It's really windy, but the drone was able to get some beautiful shots of the harbor here below and some of the mountains off in the distance. Anyways, it's about 10 a.m., so I gotta figure out what I'm doing with my day. I think I'm gonna walk through town here, see if I can find a car rental, because it'd be nice to have my own car, go at my own pace, be able to see a lot more, do a lot more. So let's, uh, but it's on the other side of town, so I'm just gonna walk you through the cute little village here of portree and see if we can find a car rental and one thing too is because of the rain and sun coming in all the time we're, we're always getting rainbows so there's this beautiful rainbow above these villages right here so i'll show you that and then we'll walk through town
so the car rental ended up being about $80 just for the day, not including fuel and all the parking expenses. So it would have been well over a hundred to do the car. So I think that's a little bit too much. So I think I'm going to go back to either trying the bus or hitchhiking. And I'm still confused about the weather because right now it's like beautiful day, but then it will just start pouring. So yeah, not really sure. But so anyways, the next bus is at 1210. So it's about an hour from now. So I'm gonna just walk around Portree a little bit more here, the little town. And yeah, right now I'm gonna come back up the hill that was behind those rainbow homes and just get some other views looking out over Portree, over the harbor, and kind of see some of the old buildings that are up here. So let's walk around a little bit and then eventually we'll catch the bus. I just found this little hiking path that's up on that hill behind the rainbow homes and behind some of the buildings here and it's just this luscious little walking path and you just have beautiful views looking out back down on the harbor so yeah let's just hike around here a little bit little hike there not far at all just probably like less than a quarter mile and he just takes you around the edge of the peninsula here but as you're going around you could look up and see a bit of like this stone wall fortress thing and then there's this path on the other side of the hill that takes you up further and I saw some hiking trails so let's see what was in the middle of this fortress up here So I've just come up to the top of this hill on the peninsula and you have these beautiful views looking out over the little fishing harbor but then you get views out over on the other side of the peninsula and then right in the middle there's this little lookout tower. So there's some stairs and you can go up there and just get a little bit more elevated views of the harbor and poetry. So I've just made it to the top of this little stone tower here and it gets you just a little bit of an elevated view looking over the harbor and then you can see a little bit of the row of homes from that cliff that we were earlier that has a little bit of color and then if it's clear enough just under the clouds there you can just see the old man of store and a couple seconds ago we just had this beautiful rainbow that was like pointing right to the old man of store and then you can just look out over some of the other islands and peninsulas out this way. And it's just really, really beautiful view. And right now we just have a great weather window. It's nice and sunny. It'll probably rain in like 10 minutes, but very beautiful view up here. And then, so from the top of this rock here, you can look out the other way and you can see some of the other white little fishing villages and cottages on the mountain over there. So very beautiful, very cool little view up here in Portree. So yeah, glad I had some time to explore here. And so let's head back down to the town and then we have to catch the bus in about half an hour. So the 1210 bus never showed up. So it might just not be running on Fridays, I heard. So the next one's at 120, but I'm gonna try my luck hitchhiking on the edge of town here because we just have beautiful weather now and I want to make sure I have the best possible weather for this hike. So let's head to the edge of town, throw up our thumb and see if we catch a ride sooner than the bus. hiking ended up working. I waited for about 
15 minutes or so, and then it's about a 15 minute drive to the trailhead here for Old Man of Store. So it's about one o'clock now, and we have a mile hike up to the Old Man of Store. We had beautiful views driving in, and right now it's very clear, very windy and cold here. But yeah, should be, should have some nice views as long as the weather doesn't change too much here. And yeah, so it should be up to Old Man Store in about maybe about a 20 minute hike. We've just come up about halfway and it's just been really steep zigzags all the way up here and you come through this gate and then you just have this beautiful green valley you can see the rocks off in the distance you actually can't see old man of store that well because it has rocks right behind it too so it's not sticking out yesterday there were clouds going through those mountains so you could really see the store but hopefully the closer we hike it'll become more obvious which one's the big rock pillar about 135 now so it took about 35 minutes to hike up and it's very steep to get up here but again just beautiful these paths just feel like they're out of a fairy tale or lord of the rings or something you just have these beautiful little hiking trails through very green mossy fields and we're right at the base of old man's store here and i actually i don't know if i'm gonna get that shot that i was picturing where i'm up above it because i don't see any place where we can hike really behind here and get like a higher view of store with the ocean in the background but just a massive pillar here and so it's thought that these are lava flows from millions of years ago and the rest of the earth and the soil has eroded away just leaving these giant lava cones that were once volcanic cores and then these mountains behind us are even higher and yeah just very beautiful majestic big black rocks and really one of the coolest hikes I've been on because it's just such a beautiful hike looking up here and then looking back behind us we just have like the beautiful ocean and some islands off that way and just magical so from here there's still a lot of like different little hiking paths you can take so I'm gonna kind of roam around the base of store here and see what other views we can get of these like really cool rocks And now I see why everyone goes right because it looks like there's a viewpoint way over here and that'll give us like all of these spires with some of the green hills in the background and the ocean to the side. So yeah, let's hike up this hill to that viewpoint. It is 
so windy at the top here, but I'm hiding right behind a couple rocks here. And this is just the view that I pictured of store. You have a couple of these tall black pillared needles and you have these rolling green hills. You have the hiking path that leads you there. And then you have a lot of the ocean in the background. It has just like these misty mountains way back there. And it's beautiful. But like as I was hiking up here, I was like almost blown off the edge of the cliff. It's so windy, but so beautiful up here. just about back down to the parking lot after hiking up to the store mountains and those were just amazing beautiful hike black rocks green fields you have the ocean and islands off in the distance and can't believe how beautiful the weather ended up being i almost didn't come here and just like canceled the hiking trip because i thought it was going to be rainy all day and then the first little bit it was rainy and windy but now it's just been beautiful blue skies, amazing views, and you just have these misty mountains all around us. It was just so windy at that one viewpoint. Like I was almost blown off the mountain. We were like cowering behind rocks for a while there. We were almost like, I thought it was gonna be stuck. But anyways, almost down to the parking lot, and then I'm gonna try to hitch a ride to Kilt Rock and Mialt Waterfalls, which is about seven miles down the road along the water here. Right across the road from the parking lot, there's this cute little coffee stand here. We just have beautiful views looking out over the water and some of the islands. So let's grab a coffee to warm up and then we'll try to hitchhike. So it's actually raining and hailing a little bit now and it took almost half an hour, 40 minutes to actually get a ride here, but I've just arrived at Kilt Rock, which should have some of these like nice basalt cliffs and then a nice waterfall going over it. So, but it's cold and windy and raining. So let's go check this out real quick and see what it's like. these amazing dramatic basalt column cliffs here. It is cool, there's a waterfall that's just falling over these black pillared columns, but to be honest, it's actually not the best of you. If it wasn't so windy and cold and rainy, I bet it would be like a really cool drone shot getting it out from above the ocean. But from here, you're just kind of looking right over the waterfall a little bit. But then along the edge here, you can walk around a little bit and you just have amazing views looking out at all these I cliffs all around here, but it is just so cold and so miserable here. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to the main road here, and it's about a mile and a half walk to the little town of Staffen. So I'm gonna try that walk. Hopefully, it's not as windy once we get away from the cliffs here. there but 
I just found this really random telephone booth that's just like right on the side of the road. But really nice to come in here and just get out of the wind for a little bit. And you probably think I'm crazy walking in this weather, but just seeing all the sheep dotting the hills and these little cottages off in the distance and the mountains, so beautiful. But you know, let's warm up in this telephone booth for a little bit and then we'll keep walking. I wonder if this actually works. There's a dial tone. That was one of the most miserable walks of my life. I'm so cold I can barely talk and then it started pouring rain so I'm like soaking wet and it's windy and cold. But I've made it to the little town of Staffen and even though it was so miserable it was just such a beautiful walk. You could see the ocean off in the distance, the mountains, you could see the rain coming through the mountains, all these sheep and then we're in the little town of Staffen now which is not a very big place. It's a very spread out village, I think, because you just see all these little white cottages all through the hills here. And so it's really pretty, really scenic. Again, just the weather has been a bit bad here. So, and there's not like a town center here in Staffen. It's kind of spread out a little bit. So not too much to do here. So I think I'm going to try to get the next bus back to Portree and hopefully warm up a little bit and just enjoy the evening in Portree tonight. But yeah, beautiful walk along here. Unfortunately, the weather finally caught up with me and I had no shelter here at the end, but very beautiful spot. just about 6 p.m. and I've just made it back to Portree and yeah that's about it for my tour of the northern part of the Isle of Skye here of course there's so much more you could do and again if I had decided to rent a car there are a couple more highland spots where you can do some really cool hiking a lot of like coastal drives that you can do and see but today I was pretty happy. I just wanted to see the old man of store and then seeing that waterfall and then really just exploring the little town of Portree, which is just such a cute, colorful little village here. And I'm gonna spend a couple more days on Isle of Skye because I just wanna relax in some of these cute little tiny villages. So that's about it for my time here in Portree and the video. So I'm looking forward to putting on some dry clothes, getting warm, getting some fish and chips tonight, and then going to a local pub here where they serve some local scotch whiskey from the Isle of Skye. So really looking forward to that, but thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.